How's everybody doing? Thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, just talking about in general about sourcing and where I've just been. Um, for those who don't know, we're who stumbled in here lost on the internet and have no idea who this big bearded guy is. I'm the bearded picker. Um, I travel, it used to be up and down the east coast, but now there is no limits to where I'll go. We've been to California, I've been Detroit this week, uh, as far south as Orlando, Florida, as far north as Connecticut, so anywhere. But anyway, I just wanted to talk to you. I had a family reunion in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, or just south in Milan, Michigan, and that's 610 miles away for a one-day event. And so a lot of people will be thinking, man, can I can my business survive? What can I do? Um, you know, that's a long, you know, it's a day drive up there, spend a day, day drive back. You know, most people will take an extra day or so to visit, which is what we did. Um, had a great time visiting and seeing a lot of relatives I have not seen in quite a few years. Um, my dad's side of the family, and now that this business allows me to do what I want to do and be where I want to be, my brother and I are try both trying to attend more family functions because my father passed away in the mid 80s from cancer. So, and he had five brothers and sisters, so he was a six. He when he was the oldest son, so there was, you know, we feel a kind of a not really an obligation, but you know that side of family. He's not there, so we want to be there, um, just to interact and and keep up with everybody. So. How does me going to a family reunion 600 miles away benefit you? Well, I'll tell you what we, what I did while I was up there. It The, the thing was Saturday, this past Saturday the 29th. Um, so I left the previous Sunday. You know, maybe you're not available to leave the Sunday. Maybe you can leave the Tuesday or Wednesday. But I decided if I'm going to Michigan, I'm going sourcing. You know, I get there Sunday night, get a cheap hotel, Actually, Sunday night I ran in. My uncle owns a runs a farm stand, uh, the Zilkey Vegetable Farm in Milan, Michigan. So I called up with a aunt and uncle there and hung out for a couple hours. And then went on to my hotel and then made my plans for you know Monday, Lansing, Michigan; Tuesday, Grand Rapids; Wednesday, up north; Thursday, back down um, to Milan to spend some time with family and friends that were coming in for the event early. Um, Friday and Saturday. Went to yard sales. He said, man, Scott, you don't know anything about Ann Arbor, Michigan. You've only been there a handful of times in your life. How'd you go to yard sales? Well, yard sale treasure map. Neat app. Most people know about it. Here's the big news flash. It works anywhere. Um, you don't have to know the streets. Um, basically, uh, we just click on the yard sale and then the little arrow at the bottom, throw it in the Google Maps. And the same Google Maps that's been walking me all over this country walks me right to the next yard sale. And yard sales in, in Huntsville are kind of vicious. You know, if you're not out an hour early, you're missing a lot of the good stuff. There are some people here who really clean up the yard sales early. But yard sales there didn't start till 9. The earliest one was 8.30. So we get there early and there's nobody set up. There's nobody even outside. There's no signs of life. So um, we went to the 8.31 and we, we kind of worked our way, started getting started slower. But the prices were absolutely amazing. I got a Keurig for five bucks, um, under the count, under the mount counter DVD player. Um, this one was a Sony with the remote for a dollar. Uh, my brother picked up a Pioneer CD player with the remote for a dollar. Um, these things are selling forty, fifty, sixty dollars on eBay. I mean, and it was like this all day. We bought so much stuff, we filled up my minivan, which is normally what I do for Amazon. But uh, we filled it up for eBay. Um, we got some, the large bubble bubble wrap. It was it was probably 24 inches wide. And from the roof, from the floor to nearly the roof of my minivan, this was a huge roll of bubble wrap. This thing was five bucks. And when we and when my brother bought it, the lady said, if, you, if you're interested in that, I've got some shrink wrap in my basement that I, that, uh, that I need to sell and my brother's like how much is it she goes I think I saw two for like eight dollars let me go get it she comes back up with a 24 inch u-line shrink wrap still brand new in the box eight bucks uh, amazing deal uh, and it's all about 
thinking outside the box and that's just what I wanted to talk to you on a short video um, of just if you've got to be somewhere go a day or two early you know take advantage of the opportunities that you're presented in life you know you're you know not everybody wants to be or can be me and be free enough to go you know, on a whim if I decide I'm going to Denver tomorrow hey we're packing up and going to Denver tomorrow who cares if it's you know 19 hours drive but not everybody has that freedom but you know you can squeeze a day or two in six hours whatever it takes you know don't be satisfied with oh my god the thrift stores in my town suck um, what can I learn from an Amazon seller who, who does a little eBay on the side think outside of the box think about how can you take advantage of where you are what you're doing um, there are plenty of tools out there if you have a question drop a drop a question in the comments I'll answer it I'll do my best to point you in the right direction I'm not perfect but and you can ask my wife by no means but I continue to use and use tools that you know track my mileage track my expenses you know map my my routes uh, help me get the yard sales wherever I'm at and that's one thing I, I do you know as I'm as I go out and buy for Amazon uh, chasing clearance chasing particular items whatever the, whatever the chase at the current time is there's always a box or two that stays in the van that's eBay stuff you know Goodwills a yard sale estate sales especially love estate sales estatesales.net app on your phone amazing just <laughs> you hit the little thing that puts it in your area and wow you can see the estate sales in your area what time they are it doesn't matter that you don't know who sells them or, or whatever uh, yeah, we actually went to an estate sale. What about the estate sale? Oh, we were at an estate sale. I bought, I bought a print. It was half price day. There was my son's printer has, he has, he has an all in one that he uses for school. He's a sophomore in college now here at UAH. Um, color quit, color died. It's got a bad head on it. You know, it's an older printer. I'm like, oh, I'll find you one. No big deal. I'll find you one. It's the state sale. I had one brand new. They went fifty dollars for it. It's half price. So I got a brand new all-in-one. Uh, it's an HP for uh, twenty-five bucks. Let's see, what else did I buy? That crazy thing. Sorry, I'm. When you buy something, when you when you buy for four days straight and are and are driving for that much time, it, all of it all of it runs together. So um, I ended up spending eighty-seven dollars at state sale. So there's a lot more that I bought besides that. Uh, I bought some golf clubs. Um, I dabble in golf. I'm not great. But they had uh, golf clubs that were, I think somebody, I think John, the Cincinnati picker, put a thing up about, you know, selling golf clubs and what to look for. They had a couple of clubs banded together with a twist tie. Um, so I picked up the first set, no good. Picked up the second set. I'm like, damn, there's a ping wedge in there. You know, my son's idea of his golf clubs are whatever he wants out of dad's bag. That's his golf clubs. You know, he's got my old set, but hell, now he's got my new set, and I'm back to my old set. No big deal. We don't play, nothing matter. Um, there was also a Cobra Hybrid in there. Um, you got to remember, this was half price day in the state sale. It was a dollar and fifty cents for five clubs, and two of them were really nice with a ping wedge and a uh, Cobra Hybrid. So uh, there's just so much opportunity out there, guys. You have to understand. Um, how can you take advantage of it and that's 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 my whole point this whole thing is is how can you take advantage of situations uh you know oh my god my wife is dragging me to here what's what's in the area you know she my my wife wants to go to atlanta darling i'd love to go to atlanta can we add in a couple stops just for me and she supports our business and she, and she goes oh you that would be great you know it's I always think of any trip that I leave the house, how can I make money on it? You know, am I going to pick up her prescriptions? Do I go through the drive through <laughs> Never. Do I go inside and look around and scan stuff? Absolutely. In a grocery store, they've got crazy toy aisles that never move. So what does that mean? There's old toys there. Uh, old toys mean not in circulation. means they're worth more money. Uh, so you have to understand in this business it's not about going just going to thrift stores it's not about just the yard sales on friday and saturday whatever's in your area 
it's about all the time. When can't, you know, where am I at? What am I doing? What can I take advantage of? And how to maximize your opportunities uh, to create more inventory for yourself. Um, maybe it's not, maybe there's not anything great, but you run into a manager or someone you can talk to and make a connection with. So that, hey, the next time they have clearance, you know, they can uh, shoot you a text, an email, whatever. Um, so that they know who you are. Or, you know, maybe that next time they've got something they can make a deal on because you are nice and you presented yourself in a professional manner. I wear shorts and a t-shirt, shorts and a pullover. I don't look like a business person going in, but I carry business cards. I'm always polite. i uh, nice to everyone. Um, laugh and joke with the cashiers. You know, it's... Even if I'm having a bad day, when I'm dealing with people who work in stores and stuff, I'm never having a bad day. Because uh, it's, it's about the first perception, you that chance to make the, make an impression on someone, you can't make make it a second time. So, I just wanted to, to, to leave you with some thoughts about, man, there are so many tools, there are so many people that you can follow on YouTube. I'm not here to spread the hate and all that drama and stuff. This is, the Beard of Pickles channel is drama free. I could care less what the other ones do, but you need to, if someone tells you something, you need to do a, a little bit of research to back up. I mean, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Um, are they telling me something to sell me something? I don't believe in all that crap. There's too much free information. If you want to know something, maybe I won't broadcast it on a video, but you know, send me a private message, look me up on Facebook. I'll answer whatever question you got. Um, don't, there aren't really any secrets in this game. Um, the Amazon game a little bit more secret about where you buy stuff, what you're buying, just because the people t tank the price so quickly. But uh, other than, but any kind of procedures, any kind of how do I do stuff, you know, from from accounting, I might be wrong about it, but I'll tell you what I do. Um, some, but also the one thing I found out as as someone has asked me a question. Maybe they're asking me a question from the standpoint, well, I use this. Why do you use this? Is it better? And sometimes what they're doing is better than what I'm doing. And guess what? I adopt what I can of their their stuff that into my into my way of doing things. And that is a, a very important business fact, especially in this business is, you know, you can't be me. You know, you can't run around the country. Well, maybe you can. And if you can, hey, more power to you. I'll see you out there. That's awesome because there's just so much out there and so much to go in this beautiful country. Um, but, you know, everybody has different different, uh, different likes, different areas of interest. You know, everybody knows I live in Huntsville. Uh, Dusty lives in Huntsville too and and he likes the old stuff. He likes researching the old stuff. He likes finding the stuff here at NASA, the stuff that Huntsville has to offer because the Space Center is here. Um, could I do that? You're damn right I could do that. Could I hit all the stuff that he does? Sure. Is that what I want to do? Not necessarily. That's just Maybe that's not my cup of tea. I'm more into electronics. I'm more into throwing a box at Amazon deal with it. Um, I do do eBay, as you can see behind me. <laughs> There's a lot of eBay crap back there. and That's, that's not even dropping the bucket because I did eBay full-time for about a year and a half. So, can I do eBay? You're damn right I can do eBay. Was I good at it? And am I still going to be good at it to get rid of this stuff? Oh, yeah, that's just money sitting back there. That's my savings account, I suppose. I need to get rid of. But I just wanted to touch base with you guys. It's been a while since I did a video. You know, so how successful was the trip to to, to Michigan? Um, my brother and I were looking at it. I sent in a total of, according to the, um, uh, what's the crazy thing? Inventory Lab. Uh, the, the items I sent in were worth an estimated fifty-one hundred dollars in profit. I brought back seven boxes with me. Three and a half of those are full of continued Amazon products that I have not gotten in yet. Uh, about Wednesday afternoon, I said, "Ah, uh, screw it. I'm not sending anything else in." I sent stuff in Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday morning, and uh, then I brought everything else back. All the eBay stuff is, came back. Uh, I'm in the process of unboxing it. Um, so very successful. Did I have a good time with my relatives? Absolutely. Did I see everybody want to see? Oh yes. Um, was it worth the time? Absolutely. You can't, you can't, can't get time with family back, uh, especially family that you don't see very much. Um, 
did I make a lot of money while I was up there? Potentially, yes. So, would I do it again? Over and over. Have I done this before? Every time I go somewhere, it's about... This, that was my second trip to Michigan. My uh, uncles, we went up there, I don't know, six months ago, eight months ago, when they turned 60. To, my dad's youngest brothers are twins. And one lives in Michigan, one lives in D.C. And so the family got together then as well and to celebrate those guys turning 60. And my brother and I went together on that trip, and we went up four days early, and we spent some time in Ohio, and when we spent time shopping on the way up there and buying stuff and buying inventory. Uh, so that by the time we turned around to come back, uh, we had sent stuff on the road from the hotels and through the stuff the stores in Ohio and Kentucky. Uh, we got there for a reunion. We spent some time around Detroit buying more stuff and then headed back. So that one was also a successful trip. So think outside the box. Take advantage of every opportunity, even if it's a, you know, the wife is doing this. I'm down the street for 10 minutes. You never know what you're going to find. You've paid for, maybe you just pay for the dinner. Maybe you, whatever she's buying, you find enough stuff to cover everything your wife buys. Or husband or whoever. That's a significant other. That is awesome. Uh, that is taking advantage of your time and maximizing your ability to, to afford to live your life in a lifestyle that you have chosen. The reseller lifestyle is about, about choice, freedom, and the more you can take advantage of things to to uh, further fund this life and to keep yourself from going back to working for the band, uh, the much more successful you'll be at this. So, if you got any questions, comments, uh, just put them down below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if not, you can reach out. I'm on Facebook. There's two of them. There's a Scott Zilke and a David, a D. Scott Zilke. The D. Scott Zilke is my personal Facebook uh, friends and family. The Scott Zilke is the uh, eBay and Amazon. Every, it got so confusing, I had two of them. So uh, reach out to me on the Scott Zilke and message me, whatever it takes. And uh, if you've got any questions or got a problem, if I can help you through it, I'd be more than glad to do that. But I just wanted to talk to you because it was very successful. We had a very good, my brother also went and he came, he came up Tuesday. He couldn't make it on Sunday with me. He drove separate and he went to one side of the state. I went to the other side of the state in Michigan. And he ended up sending in $4,300 worth of stuff. So between the two of us in the state of Michigan for Amazon, we drug out almost ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. And I went three and a half days. He went two and a half days. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of sourcing and processing and shipped in. So, all right, that's all I got for you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.